The Package Presentation feature allows you to copy one or more presentations along with their link files and or embedded fonts into a folder or onto a CD. And that can be delivered for most computers even if that computer doesn't have the necessary fonts or components installed, including the actual PowerPoint program. Now that's pretty huge. If they don't have PowerPoint, they can still view it. Now about the other two, like the necessary fonts, so if I've got a font that I'm using in my presentation that's proprietary to this computer and I send it off to somebody else, they don't have it, it'll try to find a substitute, in which case it may not look as pretty. So it'll include my fonts into the package. And then as far as like, well, let me just go ahead and throw all the presentations that I want onto a CD myself. Well, within those presentations, if you have links that go to other files on your computer, documents, other PowerPoint presentations, and so on, You'll have to grab those, but with the package presentation, it automatically grabs those and bundles them in to, well, that package. So, to go ahead and to package this presentation, or in today's terms, let's bag it, man. To bag the presentation, come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage, and go down to Export. And there you go, Package Presentation for CD. Now, you can copy it onto the CD or you can put it into a folder and put it on a thumb drive or go ahead and zip it and throw it up on the web. In any case, let's go ahead and select that. And then over to the right, it pretty much says what I just said. This package includes linked or embedded items such as videos, sounds, and fonts and any other files added to the package or any additional presentations besides the one that I'm going to be grabbing right now. The package presentation, the name of it, I know it's original. In any case, Let's go ahead and click on Package for CD, and you can see the name of the CD is Presentation CD. Okay, that's too generic. Let's call it something spiffy because, hey, everything we do here at Dreamforce is spiffy. And then the files to be copied, I've just got one. Well, whatever presentation you're in, when you package for CD, it includes that presentation. See, it's the same name, Package Presentation Package. If you want to include more presentations, then click on Add, find them and then open them up into here and add as many as you'd like. Well, that can fit onto a CD here, which might be quite a bit, depending upon if you have a lot of videos that pick up a lot of the uh, space. In any case, after you add enough, or if you want to remove it, select it, click Remove, and you can go ahead and reorder them. you got the up and down arrow if you add more than just one. You also have some options. Click on it. And included with your files here is if you want linked files. In other words, i got a link here that goes to a document on my desktop automatically will pull that into the package. Cool. If I don't want to include it because it's top secret and I don't want that in here, uncheck it. And then embedded true type fonts. Well, I've got a spiffy font that I use that I don't think anybody else has. So let's embed that so we don't get a substitute for it, something that's not as pretty. And then enhanced security. You can have a password to open each presentation or to modify or both where they have to have a password to open it once they open it if they want to make any changes to it then they got to have a second password, in any case, your flavor. Let's just do one to open, P-A-S-S, -S, and keep it simple. And then inspect presentation for inappropriate or private information. Now, we'll talk about this in another training video, the Document Inspector, where it's going to inspect your presentation for things like comments, maybe the name of the author of the presentation. If you don't want to include your comments, instead of you going through the entire presentation and deleting them, you can go ahead and inspect it, and then once it finds it, in a single click, remove it all. And also you as the author and any other personal or private information. So let's go ahead and check that. And like I said, I'll cover that in a later training video, the Document Inspector. Let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And then we need to re-enter in the password to open, P-A-S-S, -S, hit Enter. And that's it. If you're good to go and everything looks grisly, come down here and you can copy it to a folder. I'm going to do it on my desktop or copy it right to the CD. Let's do it into a folder on my desktop. Click on it. And everything we do here is spiffy, so that's good. The folder name, the locations, the desktop, and then open folder when complete. Okay, sounds good. Click okie dokie. And it says you chose to package all link files in your presentation, so PowerPoint will copy the link files to your computer. You should include link files in your package only if you trust me. Well, I trust me. Click yes, include it. And then the document inspector opens up and it wants to inspect for comments. Or you can uncheck it and say don't inspect for comments, meaning that if there are comments, leave them. Well, it doesn't matter even if you check it and you say inspect, click on inspect, and it found some. It didn't, but if it did, you get the option to remove it. So there's a second layer of security. It inspects it, looks for it. That's okay. If it finds it, all right. What do you want to do next? Like down below, 
It found some information in the document properties, including my name. Well, I think it's my name as the author. So I can go ahead and say remove all, and it's gone. So there's no way to trace me back to this presentation in case if it's not up to everybody's standards. In any case, let's go ahead and we can re-inspect it or click close. Hey, there we go. Opened up my spiffy folder on my desktop. Okay, we got the, let me click behind it because I got to close out of here and close out of the after I close out of there, it looks like it wants to open up the presentation with the password. Let me click cancel because I want to close out of the original presentation and just come here to the spiffy folder. Well, it's on my desktop that's opened. To open up the package presentation, double click. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and type in the password so we can access it. Hit enter and there we go. Now once I open it, if I want to remove the password, which I'll talk about how to password protect and remove it in a later training video, but hey, we're here, right? Just come up here, click on the File tab, go back stage, Info selected by default. There you go. Protect presentation. A password is required to open this. Just go ahead and click on the drop down arrow. And where it says encrypt with password, click on it to deselect it. And it says OK. Do you want a password? No. Delete what's there. Click Okie Dokie. And it disappears. Great. Just be sure that when you hit back, you save your work. So it saves that you actually remove the password from this presentation. Fabulous. Let's go ahead and close out. And we'll save it. Okay, because it's saving it, it's not going to embed some font. Oh, all right, that's okay. Has some font issues with me on my computer. It may be the PowerPoint program or something else I got going on. Let me close out. Now, when somebody tries to open up the PowerPoint program, you can see the extension .pptx. Well, you probably can't see it because Windows doesn't like showing you the extensions because if you change that, delete it. This file no longer will be able to open up in the appropriate program. So the extension tells the operating system what program to open up this file in. In any case, you can watch my Windows training video on extensions if you want to be able to see it. Or if you've got a file that you're trying to open up that says, hey, we don't know what program to open this up in. I go over that. In any case, if they can't open this up here, tell them to go into the presentation package folder, which contains, well, the things that if there was anything like documents that we had linked before we packaged it, would be included in here. Double click and I didn't have any. In any case, let me maximize this. Tell them to go to the presentation package here, the big E for Internet Explorer, and double click. And they can download the viewer so they can view it on their computer. Oh, that's spiffy that they can download it. Okay, punny. Let me go ahead and close out of here and close out of that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.